This segment is sponsored by Virginia Family Dentistry. We're visiting Virginia Family Dentistry with Dr. Rocio Lopez. We're talking about a condition that impacts so many people, obstructive sleep apnea. And this is something folks watching might, right now might be thinking, how does this connect to dentistry? But you see this often. Can you define OSA for us? Obstructive sleep apnea is one of the most common breathing problems, and it happens with your sleeping. It basically, when your muscles of the throat relax, it blocks your airway and you stop and start breathing again. Mm -hmm. When this happens, your brain is not getting enough oxygen and your brain send another message for you to continue breathing. When this happens, basically you're gasping for air. You, you can see the difference between snoring and sleep apnea is because you're really getting the oxygen back to your brain in a desperate way. It's like gasping mm -hmm. instead of just snoring. Dr. Lopez, talk us through the symptoms of, a, of obstructive sleep apnea. Okay, the most common symptoms is like you're snoring, shocking, and gasping during your sleep. Uh, you wake up several times to go to the bathroom. When you wake up, you feel unfreshed and tired during the whole day. You have morning headaches. You start uh, not getting focus mm -hmm. and you forget things mm -hmm. easily. And even when you're doing activities like driving or that doesn't require a lot of physical activity, you fall asleep very easily. These things might happen uh, independently. They might not be all happening at once. How is it that you diagnose it as, as a dentist working with your patients? The, when the patient is coming for a regular dental appointment, we're able to see when the patient is laying down if all their airway is blocked during a regular appointment. Sometimes there is very difficult to work on patients that have a sleep, so obstructed sleep apnea. It's just because the tongue is too large or just the muscles of the neck are blocking the airway. And we can, if this happens, we can rec recognize the symptoms and refer you back to your primary doctor to get you tested. The doctor, your primary doctor or a sleep specialist is the only one that can diagnose a obstructed sleep apnea. Incredible, so it's a partnership in your, your medical journey really. So working with the team here that may be uh, recognized and then yeah. of course identified and you can seek treatment. What are some of the things that can be done? We've all heard about a CPAP machine. Are there other options? Yes, we, I would like to talk about four types of treatments. The CPAP machine is one of the gold standard treatment. The second one is the intraoral appliance. The third is gonna be surgeries, different types of surgeries. And I also want to mention that there is some changes in your lifestyle that would be complemented. I'm not saying that one treatment is specific for you, but the combinations of treatment is the one that is gonna get you through this journey against the sleep apnea. Is this something as a patient when you come in and you're working with the team at Virginia Family Dentistry, you would think to ask, or most typically, are you recognizing this in your patients first? We have it as part of our uh, initial questionnaire, but I think that most of the patients are feeling the symptoms, but they don't really recognize what's going on when they feel, um, like when they are waiting in the, for getting call to the appointment, they just feel tired, they fall asleep, they don't even know what is happening. When you're watching a movie and you just get to the title of the movie and you're already snowing. So those symptoms, maybe the patient doesn't have the knowledge that it could be something that is happening and it's serious uh, to be treated. Dr. Lopez, we talked a little bit about CPAP and then those other inner oral devices. These are devices that fit inside your mouth, but how do they work? Uh, the oral appliance is a very effective uh, therapy we custom made the appliance and we fit it in your mouth and it basically keep your jaw forward during your sleep, open your airway. They are easy, comfortable, they just fit in your mouth, you can carry them if you're traveling. It's not like the SIPA machine that is a machine and it's bigger than that. It's easy to clean and it fits in your lifestyle very easily. Dr. Lopez, is this something that's impacting men, women, young or old or is this everyone? It's everyone, but um, the statistics get like confused sometimes, and uh, I think that it's a mix uh, between both men, women, and even kids. Mm -hmm. And it's important with the kids because the sleep apnea is not getting them developed correctly, and sometimes when they are at school, they get misdiagnosed with the 
syndrome that they can focus well. Mm -hmm. And it's not that, it's like they are trying to fight not to get sleep because they di didn't have a good sleep at night. Exactly, incredible that connection between the oral health and our overall health. Dr. Rocio Lopez, thank you so much. You're welcome. We're gonna share some information so you can learn more with Virginia Family Dentistry.